So now what I need is room B. This is what my room A looks like. Room B has like a big couch in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to file, I'm going to make a copy. I'll go ahead and call this room B. Okay. And... So now that this is room B, I'm going to go ahead and delete the intercom and delete the door and delete the doorknob. So I have a blank room and then I just need to draw some sort of a couch looking thing. Um, I could use just the scribble tool and draw it if I wanted to. I can just you know, make a couch. It's probably the world's ugliest couch, so I'm not going to do it that way. I'm going to piecemeal it with uh, shapes. So I'm going to make the back of my couch here. And what color do I want my couch? I really like lime green, so I'm going to go with that. And then I need the seating area, so maybe I'll use a... Oh, I don't know, one of these guys looks... This might be good. Now what I need to do is I need to rotate that and there's this yellow uh, where I can round that off a little bit more. And I don't want to round those. Bring this in so I get this at a little bit of an angle. Mm, too much of an angle. Anyway, this is not a very attractive looking couch, but whatever. So I have a couch. Let me get some legs on this couch. I'll make them rectangles. Now you'll notice that was blue uh, instead of the green. If you actually have a shape selected and then you go to draw another shape, it'll match the attributes. So notice that now when I draw this leg, it's lime green like the others. And I'm going to order, send it backwards, command down. So, got like a, a leg there, copy, paste, put it on this side, command down. All right, so I've got something that looks like a couch-ish, good enough. Oh, you're going to want to file, download as, PNG, and I did something bad because you notice I have a space in there. And, you know, I think it's better when you do file names to have no space. So I'm going to rename that to be Room B, all one word.